girls, happy Sabbath and welcome to another Kids Church. I'm so glad that you are here with us today. It's a beautiful Sabbath day and I am very blessed to get the next few days of work off since it is Thanksgiving break. And this Thursday is Thanksgiving. So what are you thankful for? I know I'm thankful for family and I can't see some of them for Thanksgiving because of quarantine, but I am very thankful for technology that allows us to be together even if we're far apart. So I hope that you have some fun plans and that you are enjoying your week off if you get a week off. All right, let's start with a word of prayer and then we will get to sing some songs. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for so many things, all the many blessings that you give us, uh, our family, our friends, our schools, our teachers, for me, my students, uh, and I really want to praise you for music. Thank you so much for music. It just brings joy to my life, and I know it brings joy to so many people. I pray that you be with us, help us to be more like you, help us to think of others, and to be kind and generous. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Our first song this morning is a fun one, and it may be new to some of you, but it'll get us up out of our seats, and we get to praise God this morning with a song called, I Command My Soul. we're still in school learning because it's all about spelling. This is a song called I Am a C and it spells I am a Christian, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And I have Christ in my heart and I have C-H-R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T and I will live eternally. L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y. Whew, that's a mouthful. And we'll start out real slow and then get a little bit faster. I am a C. I am a C-H. I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Amen. And I have C-H-R-I-S-T. In my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y I am a C I am a C-H I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N Amen And I have C-H-R-I-S-T In my H-E-A-R-T And I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-E-I-A-N, amen, and I have C-H-R-A-S-E in my A-T-A-R-T, and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y, I am a C, I am a C-H, I am a C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N, amen, and I have C. R-I-S-T in my H-E-A-R-T and I will L-I-V-E-E-T-E-R-N-A-L-L-Y 
Our next song is actually a really important song to our kids' church today because our Sabbath school lesson kind of involves what this song is about, and it is called The Wise Man and the Foolish Man. And it goes like this. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the, came came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. to build our lives on God's foundation because that is solid. All right, our last song before our Sabbath school lesson is My God Loves Me. My God loves me and all the wonders I see the rainbow shines through my window for singing with me this morning and I hope you enjoy our Sabbath school lesson. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Happy, happy Sabbath. Sabbath. We're happy you're here with us today and I'm going to share a story about Costa Rica. Have you heard of Costa Rica? Yes. We went there on vacation and we're going to tell you a super neat story about how we saw Jesus in our vacation. So Levi's going to show you where Costa Rica is. It's below the United States. If you're looking on a map, it's right there, a little bit to the right of Mexico. Yep. Now we went there on vacation and we went to the Oop. east side and that's where the jungle was like a big jungle. And that's where we wanted to go because there's we wanted to see all of the animals and go to all the reserves. So we went there on vacation and we, the first day that we woke up, well, first of all, it was super hot there, oh. really hot. That was and like a thousand degrees. We went to this amazing park. Have you guys ever been to a park? Now, not the park where they have swings and slides, but a park like a nature park yeah. and you walk through it and see birds and different things that Jesus made. Yeah. So we paid our money to get in and this man outside says, Hey, do you want me to help you? I'll be your guide. And I was like, no, we don't want to spend any extra money. We'll go find this stuff ourselves. So we start walking and there's a whole bunch of leaves and jungle on the side and a very small dirt path right in the middle. And the trail went for about three miles and we started out and we almost got to a mile and we're like, hmm, I don't see anything. Did you see anything? We didn't even see any bugs. Oh. What? This is a jungle tour. We see nothing. So I told the kids, let me walk back the mile and I'll go find the tour guide. So I walked back. And the tour guide's out there, and he wanted to charge $60 to go with us. And at first I thought that was too much, but we didn't see anything. So I thought, okay, I'll pay for you. Come on, come with us. So we walk in the gate, and we take about two steps, and he starts looking around. And he says, oh, do you see that? And we're like, where? And he had this really neat, like a telescope, like a big one, that could see up close in yeah. trees. 
And the very first thing he shows us is a big giant Julia. Do you want to grab that for us? Yes, it's furry. Well, I don't know if he's furry, but he's really cute. My favorite animal ever. Oh my goodness, Aslan, look at this guy. Now you gotta say, isn't he the cutest little fella out there? And he was in the tree hanging over. His little belly was hanging over. And he was just looking around, and oh my goodness, we didn't see him before because he blended in with the trees and the um, leaves that were on the trees. Now, the one we saw was a little smaller than this. He was about, um, Julia, you want to hand us the smaller one? <gasps> he was about uh, bigger than this one. This one would be like and a little one. And attacked by sloths. And the sloth was just up there like this. Hello down there. And he was looking at us. He probably thought, oh my goodness, who are these people coming? Hi. Now, we did not see anything without this guy showing us. Now, we took a couple steps further. Now, there's a little path, a little dirt path. And we were walking by all these plants. And we see this big leaf like Ooh. this. So this leaf um, was right beside our feet like this. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but it was right beside us. Mm -hmm. And he says, oh, look look on the other side of that leaf. And we're like, okay, it has to be a creature, probably a bug. And so we turned it over. Oh, it was a pit viper snake on a leaf that was the size of our hand. And it was curled up. And it was just looking at us. I almost had a heart attack. I screamed and put down that leaf. I told Levi, you're not allowed to touch any leaves, any kind of bush. You have to walk in the very center and don't look down. <laughs> now, this guy, this our guide was pointing out dangers too, because this is a danger. It was on all of the leaves. We, we must have lifted several leaves while I only touched the one leaf and didn't touch it anymore. <laughs> but the guy, Pulled some other leaves, more pit vipers. He just turned over the leaves. There they were. Oh, tons of them. And I was like, oh my gosh, we did not see those snakes at all. And they are poisonous snakes right by us. So this man pointed that out. Now we went a little further and he saw a tree. And he says, do you know what's in that tree? And we didn't know. He says, it's where the bats live. And he showed us hundreds of bats that were inside the tree. Can you believe that? We walked right by the tree. We didn't see any bats in there. Here's our little bat. And they were just sleeping because they sleep during the day and come out at night. And it was hanging upside down like this. A whole bunch of them just sleeping in a tree. And I didn't want to go by any more trees because they were filled with bats. But we kept walking and we walked a couple more feet. Now we hadn't even gotten half a mile. We're seeing all these creatures. And he pulls out and he starts showing us beautiful butterflies. Some of them were almost as big as our face and they were flying everywhere. They were so beautiful. And we just needed to stop and look and listen and see what's out there. Now, we walked some more, a little bit more and he started showing us some lizards. Now there's a lizard. Hi. Here's a lizard. Now lizards I'm not afraid of uh -huh. like I am snakes. But some of these lizards were quite big. And they were just walking around on the ground or up in the trees and just looking at us. And they are camouflage, especially this chameleon. They are camouflage in the trees. So sometimes you don't see them. But the man knew where to look and he started pointing them out. Now, some other places that we started seeing when we were walking, we started hearing something. If you listen in the jungle, you can hear lots of things. And we started hearing this thing. And here he came, he showed us. And this was called a howler monkey. And they were very noisy. They made so much sound and started swinging all over the place. And they were very fun to watch, doing tricks up in the trees. And we didn't see them before because, well, we weren't listening. We were just walking on our own. 
But this guy was pointing them out to us. Now, some of the places in the jungle have like little rivers. Now this jungle was right next to the ocean. I mean, right next to the ocean. So as soon as you came out of the path, the three miles, there was this beautiful ocean. But in the path, there was like little waters and streams and something lived in there. And right next to us, and this place did not have any gates, fences, or any kind of cages. Everything was in the wild. A crocodile. They were called caiman. A caiman. And they were about okay. six feet long, which isn't too big for um, like an alligator caiman, but these were big to us because it was taller than us. And they were everywhere in the water. Not the ocean, but the little streams. And I don't think they can see him again. Oh. And they were everywhere. And they would just swim and look up at you. I didn't want to be anywhere near that water when I saw those. Because at first, you can't see them. Did you know that they can hide in the water? And they just stick their little tiny eyes up. And you can't see the rest of them. So you've got to be careful when you walk past the water. Because if you get too close, you don't want to get bitten by one of these big caimans. They have big chomper mouths. Yep, just like that. Like big chompers. Big teeth. Now, this, these animals were what the guide was showing us. And then in some other places, there were bigger, bigger things that were hanging from the trees, Julia. Now, besides this little viper that was on the side of plants, they had bigger snakes in the tree. Now, those snakes were up in the trees, thank goodness, but they were gross. And But they were very colorful. They were like fluorescent color. These were bright yellow, bright green, and the snakes had all pretty colors on them. Well, I don't know if I could say a snake's pretty, but <laughs> the color... They used to be the prettiest animal on earth. Yes. Now they're... Yeah, they're kind of scary to me. But this one has horns. This one was up in the tree. Thank goodness. Now, some others, another animal that this man pointed out. Now, these live in the jungle there, and they start with a P, and they're smaller than cheetahs, and they're smaller than panthers. They're called what, Levi? A puma. A, 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 puma. a, puma. a jaguar. A jaguar. They're called oh jaguars. Now, there was a jaguar reserve there, and they had a lot of these pretty cats. And a reserve is where they will rescue animals. So if they find a jaguar that's hurt or injured, maybe got hit by a car or a telephone um, wires, lots of sloths. Lots of sloths there get injured by telephone wires. And so they have sloth reserves there too. And the sloths go there to recover. And once they're all recovered and healed, they let them back to the wild. Because the <coughs> reserve is actually in the wild. It's in the jungle. So we got to see these beautiful cats up close. And boy, they were beautiful. Yeah. And sometimes they even have babies in there. And we got to see lots of fun things. Now, we were sitting, after we got done with our tour, we were sitting there, and Julia, can you grab us that right there? Right here, honey. Right here. We were sitting there eating a snack, and oh, down from a tree came a baby sloth. Came a baby sloth. Oh my goodness, if I could have held it, that would have been the best thing in the world. And here it comes, and it's like hanging upside down like this, and it comes right in front of us like this. And I didn't want to scream because I didn't want to scare it. But I kind of screamed because yeah. I was, I went, ah! I was so excited. And there he was, he was right in front of us. And he was crawling down like this. And then he stopped and he looked at us. And then he went back up the tree because we were right mm -hmm. under a tree. And he went back to his mama. Now the people there said, you got to make sure you see the mom because if it's by itself, then we have to call the rescue because sometimes the moms get hit by the telephone wires and then the baby's all alone and the baby will die without its mom. So they, we went around the tree and looked and looked and we saw the mom up there with the baby. So we knew the baby was okay, but I really wanted to keep it and hold it because it's so cute. But we want it to be free 
in the jungle where it lives. We don't want to put him in a, in a cage or anything like that because he belongs in the jungle. Now, our guide that showed us around is like Jesus. Jesus gives us so many blessings and he keeps us from lots of harm like these snakes and we don't even realize it. So if we didn't call this guide, we would have walked right into these bushes, looked around, the snake could have bit us. We would have missed all the blessings all the way on the way. The beautiful um, butterflies, the beautiful monkeys, the lizards, the jaguars. We would have missed all of it because we weren't looking. We weren't paying attention. But Jesus is our guide, just like this man is. And Jesus says, I am here for you. I have all these blessings in front of you, and I want to bring you special gifts. So you know what we're supposed to do? We're supposed to say a prayer and ask Jesus to open our eyes to all the blessings he has for us. And he will show us the blessings, and he will show us what's harmful and how to keep out of danger. Because Jesus protects us every day from so many things. In the Bible, it tells us if we could see all the things he protects us from, we would not believe it. Because Jesus loves us so much. He wants us to be safe. So our job is to stay in contact with Jesus. And how do we do that? We pray to him and talk to him. Yeah, we pray and we talk to him because he's our friend. And he's there to guide us and help us in life. Just like that guide helped us. Now, Julia has a Bible verse that I'm going to read that talks about that special, special love for Jesus. All right. So we will be reading from Psalms 16, verse 11. So for this verse in Psalm 15, or 16, verse 11, you have made known to me the path of life. You will find me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. And he gives us pleasures here on earth. And we just have to look for them and look at all the blessings he sends us every single day. Jesus says, watch out and look for them because I am blessing you. So let's remember to do that when we pray, when we wake up and talk to Jesus all day long. And he will show us everything that he, all the blessings and the gifts he has for us every single day. Yeah. All right. Now, Levi's going to say a special prayer to end our story today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this Sabbath. Thank you that we get to spend time with you and share you with others. Thank you that you created all these animals. Thank you that you created the nature of every so much. In your holy name, amen. Amen. Yeah. And, and we, we want to wish you a happy Sabbath.